Okay, this is a quick demonstration of using the keyboard to add and manage shifts on the Rotoville rotor. We can click keyboard help at any time to bring up information on using the keyboard mode. You can see that we can use the arrow keys and also H, J, K and L to navigate the rotor. So let's get started. We can use the arrow keys up and down to highlight the individual days. Alternatively, we can use J and K to do the same movements. Let's add a new shift on Monday. N brings up the new shift form. Let's run a shift from 7 a.m. through until 12 midday. Press enter. It saves the shift on the rotor. Let's add another new shift by pressing N again. Let's run this shift from 11 through until 3 p.m. There we are. Then let's add another shift, N again. Let's run this shift from 2 p.m. through until 9 p.m. and I'll put 21 uh, to represent 9 p.m. So we can use H and L to navigate between the shifts. Let's assign some staff for this shift. Let's type A to bring up the assignment menu. We can use the arrow keys to navigate the names. Let's assign Leanne and let's move to the next shift. Let's assign someone else. We can just type into the search box someone's name and when they're listed first we can press enter and they are automatically assigned to the shift. And for this last shift, A again brings up the assign box. You just need to type part of someone's name. So we can type, if we want to, if we want to assign Mike Mueller, we can type Mike space Mueller or we can just type MU and there we are Mike Mueller and he's now assigned to the shift. Now I want to repeat these shifts on the next day so I'm going to press C to clone them and then J to move down and now P to paste and those shifts have been pasted onto the next day. I'm going to repeat that process. C to clone, move down one row, P to paste, and there are our shifts. Now it's possible to clone multiple days at once by using shift down or capital J to mark out multiple rows. C to clone. Let's move the three days of new shifts into place. There they are. P to paste and the new shifts are in place. Now, for this shift here on Saturday, I want some changes. I don't want this shift to run, so I'm just going to delete that with the D key. And for this last shift, I'm going to assign someone else. I'm going to assign Mike Boyer, and he's now assigned to that shift. So there are our shifts set up for the week. We can confirm each shift by pressing capital C and that confirms the shift. Alternatively you can confirm a whole day at once by pressing capital C or if we mark out multiple rows capital C that will confirm all of the shifts. So those shifts are all confirmed. Now this shift pattern and assignments I wish to repeat for the following week. So I'm going to mark them out, clone them, and now move these shifts down to the following week. There they are in place. Let's Peter paste. And the new shifts have been pasted into position, which is great. Now for the third week, uh, the assignments are going to change. So let me now, instead of copying the shifts and assignments, let me just copy the shift times by using S. And now I should be able to move down. There we go. Peter paste. Now for this third week, I've just pa pasted in the shift times. So there we are. Three weeks of shifts. Our first week of shifts confirmed on the rotor by just using the keyboard.